The force between a magnet and a magnetic material, like this paperclip, is always one of attraction, regardless of which pole I'm using. The strength of the magnetic field depends on the distance from the magnet. The field is strongest at the poles of a magnet. Now there are two types of magnets. Permanent magnets like this produce their own field and are generally made of steel. And an induced magnet is one that becomes magnetic when it's placed inside the magnetic field of another magnet. For example, this paperclip can now pick up another paperclip. However, if I remove it from that magnetic field, it will lose its magnetism very, very quickly. And again, only becomes magnetic itself when placed within that magnetic field. We can use this idea of magnetism when we're talking about compasses. A magnetic compass contains a small bar magnet. The Earth has a magnetic field. And the compass needle always points in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. And here you can see it rotating between north and south as we move between the hemispheres.